Hello chefs, welcome back to Close Kitchen. If you are new here, welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos and recipes. So let's get straight to the video. Today I will be showing you how to clean this Hamilton Beach deep fryer. Make sure to check out the unboxing. First I need to disassemble my deep fryer and I'm starting off by removing the vent cover which is very greasy. I'm filling my sink with some hot water and I'm adding some Dawn dish liquid which is very good to remove grease. And no, this video is not sponsored by Dawn. I'm also adding some baking soda to my hot water and that is also good to remove grease. I'm placing the vent cover in the water and I'm going to let it soak. Guys, look how much grease is on this deep fryer cover after frying a few pieces of chicken wings. Let me know in the comments what dish liquid soap do you guys use at home. The next piece is the basket and it looks like it's going to be very challenging to clean it. So I'm going to remove the handle first. Then I'm soaking both the basket and the handle in the hot water mixture. I'm moving the basket and the handle on one side of the sink because I still have to soak the other parts of my deep fryer. Now let's move on to the other parts of the deep fryer. I'm removing the heating element assembly and I'm placing it to the side. Next I'm disassembling the removable oil pot from the base and as you can see it still has some oil settlement at the bottom after I have discarded the used oil. I'm using a few pieces of paper towel to remove that settlement from the bottom of the pot. I was able to remove most of the grease settlement. So now I'm ready to soak my pan in the soapy water and I'm going to make sure to submerge it in that water to remove that grease. I'm moving on to the heating element assembly. I cannot submerge it in water but I can use a paper towel with some soap to remove the grease that is stuck on it. I'm using a clean piece of paper towel with some water to remove the soap from the element. I also make sure to squeeze the excess water from my paper towel to avoid soaking the element. I'm making sure to be very careful around the wires for the element and I'm also making sure that it is clean and dry. To clean the second part of the heating element assembly which holds the power light and the thermostat, I'm going to use a wet paper towel with a small amount of dish liquid soap. 
Once I'm done, I'm going to set it aside to air dry. Next, I'm placing my cover in the soapy water and I'm going to let it soak. While the deep fryer parts are soaking, I'm grabbing my sponge with some dish liquid and I'm going to clean the base that has less grease and doesn't need to be soaked. Once I'm done, I'm using a fresh piece of paper towel to dry my base and I'm making sure to dry every single corner and not leave back any wet spots. For my basket, I'm using my sponge. As you can see, the debris that was stuck to the basket was removed with the hot water. I really thought that I will be struggling to remove it since I don't have a brush. Okay guys, for the cover, I think I'm going to use some extra Dawn dish liquid soap. I'm starting off by using my hands just to remove a little bit of the grease. Then I'm going to switch to my sponge to clean the cover. I make sure that I clean the corners of the viewing window as well as in between the vent where grease might settle. After I have rinsed my cover, I notice a greasy spot. So I'm using a little bit of baking soda and I'm going to use my sponge to rub that grease from that spot. Next, I'm moving on to the basket handle, which is very easy to clean with some soap and water. I'm doing the same with the vent cover. So guys, this is the last piece of the deep fryer, the oil pot. Now I know this one is going to be very challenging since the grease is stuck to it. I've added some dish liquid soap as well as some baking soda and I'm going to use my fingers to rub out all that grease. One eternity later. Once I'm done, I'm going to rinse it and dry it. As you can see, the baking soda did work. All the grease has been removed. So these are all the parts for the deep fryer, all clean with no grease residue. It takes a little while to clean it, which is why I don't use it that often. So now I'm going to reassemble it to put it away. So guys, this is how I clean my Hamilton Beach deep fryer. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And as always, keep cooking chefs. Bye.